Uh, you have uh, $96 a barrel for WTI and Brent at 101.50. Uh, the issue is, if, if we do move over the century mark for either one of those indicators, how long are they going to stay there? Is it going to be for a prolonged period of time? Because that's when it will really have an impact on inflation. Well, I, I don't think that we're going to spend an appreciable amount of time uh, at those numbers, at least in the first half of the year. You know, I, I, I look at what the average increase from a December low to an April or May high is over the last few years. And that's where you get 101 for Brent and $96 for WTI. Having said that, we've seen this movie before, and there's a lot of length, a lot of speculative money that's all bet on higher prices for crude oil, whether it be Brent, WTI, and certainly for gasoline here in the United States. Typically, as you get into the second half of April and early May, it gets very dangerous to own length in those positions. So I don't think we're going to get up to those numbers in this go around. I think that the market's going to be like a Bactrian camel, though, that it's going to have second humps. And that second hump is going to be in August when world demand is quite high and when the threat of hurricanes and other climatological aspects on prices uh, could be brought to bear. Uh, there are multiple dimensions in this market, uh, Tom. Uh, so uh, is it conceivable that we could start to see a speculative unwind then in uh, the price of oil, especially given uh, where pricing towards the Fed is and given uh, where the dollar is? Yeah, I, I do think that the speculators will start to get nervous the more uh, this month goes on. Last year, the market actually tumbled around April 12th to April 15th, and that was earlier than normal. Normal, The normal peaking date is about May 1st, but certainly there's so many mathematicians and so many quants and quantitative analysts that are in this market that it gets dangerous as you get into the longer days. You get a break, and then again in August, when you could have a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico or the South Atlantic or North Atlantic, you know, the, the water temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico are more conducive to what you would see in early June. So that's a little bit frightening.